Unwin, how are you doing? I am sitting in the back of a cart covered by a cloth canopy in broad daylight. I'm doing fine. Oh, I'm sorry. It's uncomfortable, but I'll manage. I never knew vampires could actually be out in the sun like this. Never really tried before. Mm, it's not ideal, but it's better than leaving you behind and making you catch up in the evenings. Well, honestly, a part of me would prefer that. Well, with your speed, I'm sure you could. You can run faster than any horse we have. I haven't tried. You haven't? I've only done it when I was hungry, but that wasn't exactly my choice. Oh, that makes sense. So have you been traveling together long? Uh, no, only a week or so. But you two seem so close. I would have thought you'd been traveling together for years. We grew up in the same village. Childhood friends. Oh, that's wonderful. And you've been doing all this to come get her. That's so kind of you. Oh, kind? Stubborn? Same thing when it comes to them. Uh, what about you? Are any of these mages your family? Friends? Family, in a way. Most of us were scattered over time. We traveled out together, and now we're traveling back together. I care for all of them, even if some do test my patience. Oh, well, I can think of one who does. You still don't like Ira. And I have been given no reason to, no matter how much you vouch for her. I just keep looking at her hands. Understandable. Ira is a bit more elevated than the rest of us in terms of power, so she can be intimidating. Her attitude doesn't help, not to mention she was the only priestess among us. Honestly, we were all pretty shocked when she came. Most of the high mages stayed at the temples to keep things in order. But Ira had insisted on going out to the front lines with the rest of us. You couldn't tell her anything. Not back then. Not now. Oh, you lot wouldn't be talking about me, are you? We are, actually. All good things. So you're lying. <laughs> and that's the first thing about you that I believe. Fia, go ahead and check on Rain. Make sure we're going in the right direction. I don't trust him with the map. What? What are you talking about? I'm sure Fia drew perfectly good instructions. Oh, I am well aware of that. I'm just worried he's holding the map upside down. Oh, for pity's sake, I, I'll be back. <laughs> What's this? You were so chatty with Fia, what happened? I see. Clearly I am not worthy of such conversation. Despite my immense generosity to let you two come with us. Actually, it was Fia who allowed us to come along. She just wouldn't let you say no. Oh, and who's to say I would have said no? <laughs> well, you've got me there. As I have said, Hunter, we're going to the temple. There you'll meet with the other refugees and be given food, water, and enclosed spaces for your, uh, sun-intolerant friend. I heard that! Oh, you were meant to. After that, then you can both be on your way to do whatever it is you plan to do with the rest of your lives. And why is it any of your concern what I plan to do? Well, if you truly must know, I plan on rejoining my brothers and sisters of the Coven. Catching up on everything I've missed and rebuilding everything that was broken. Just because the war is over, that doesn't mean our work is. <sighs> Why have we stopped? We are at a ward. A wall of magic. It keeps everything inside safe and deters any non-wielders from prying. Fortunately... This is a coven's ward, which means only a priestess or priest can undo it. You two should consider yourselves very lucky to witness such magic. Oh, I'll try and contain my applause. <laughs>
You know, if you would like, you should stay. You are quite the entertaining little thing. I'd hardly call that a compliment. I reckon you stop badgering our guests and undo the word. We want to go home. <sighs> all right. All right, I'm coming. You know, a few centuries ago, we would have had an incantation to say along with this. It would have been so much more fun. Just do it. What in the world? Is everything all right? Yes, everything is fine. Do, do you also feel that? There's not nearly as many people as I was expecting. Where are the refugees? Not just the refugees. Why are the elders here? What do you mean, elders? It's just a field. Oh, don't tell me they're magically invisible. No, the temple is just over that hill, but I can feel their magic. They shouldn't be here. Why do you think they are? <clears throat> well, clearly they are here to welcome us home and sing my unending praises. All right, and why do you think they're actually here? I suppose we'll have to find out. Everyone press on. What is it, Hunter? No, you would not be able to feel anything. You have no connection to magic. Your friend over there certainly should. You can't. But you don't have to worry about that. Just stay with your friend. Fia, keep us on course. Yes, Ira. Hi, Priestess. I am glad to see you've returned safely. Oh, is that you, Agnes? Oh, you have grown up, haven't you? Come now, it's only been a few years. You know to call me Ira. I cannot. Oh. I see. Well then, perhaps you can tell me what is going on here. The High Priest of the West Temple has called the Elders into a meeting. Merrick? For the sake of the Maker, what does he want? I haven't seen him in even longer. I cannot say, Priestess. Oh, then I should go speak to him. And the elders, for that matter. Behind you? Is that...? Yes. This is Onwen, recently turned, and her very protective companion. I wouldn't get too close. She doesn't bite, but they do. I'm not sure not I... Don't worry, Fear here can bring them to the rest of your refugees. I, I don't think the elders would... Oh, my thoughts exactly. You go ahead and let the elders know I'd like an audience. You too. Stay together. Thea, keep a close eye. Stay with them. Ira, what's wrong? Nothing I will say out loud until I'm sure. Agnes, come, let's go. With all due respect... If it is with all due respect, then you would do well to show me more. The elders are currently convening, and I am a high priestess. I do not need your permission... So either walk alongside me, or trail behind. Either way, I am going inside. I... Priestess, wait! Um, well, let's start to unload. Everyone, you all know what to do. Onwin, let's get you inside and into some proper shade, shall we? Something is not right. I can feel it. Small setback. I'm sure we'll straighten things out right away. No, no, why did you look worried? The two of you. Oh, where did you come from? You are to come with me immediately. I'm also going with them to the rest of the refugees, correct? Not necessary. These two are under arrest. What? What? There has to be a mistake. Ira just said... The High Priestess made the orders herself. I knew it. I knew this was a bad idea. Lower your weapon... Or else I will keep her in the sunlight. As a matter of fact, separate them. You there, go with the rest of the guards and bring the hunter down to the dungeon. You can't be serious! I'm merely following orders. No, 
No, no, please, please let me stay with them. Please don't. Do not make this difficult for yourself. Wait, no! <laughs> So, you're awake. Trust me, I might be behind these bars, but I'm more of an ally to you than anyone else here. My name is Leoric. What's yours? I hope you don't mind my curiosity, but what on earth did you do to wind up here? A human like you shouldn't have been able to get past the ward. Let alone bother a bunch of mages. They just let you in. And then they double-crossed you. Well, then, I'm sorry, but you were doomed to be captured from the start. Whatever blood mage brought you in never intended for you to leave. What are you staring at? My eyes. I suppose you've never seen eyes like mine before, have... I see... No, the only person they dragged in here was you. If you were travelling with a vampire, I'm assuming they must have brought her down to the lower dungeons. There's no sunlight in there. Trust me, I would know. Apparently, I'm special. They put me in this cell so that I can dance around the rays of sunlight that come through my window. Punishment for speaking out, you see. It's not enough to just kill me. They have to make a game out of it. No, I didn't do anything wrong. Just existed, which appears to be enough. Either they want to starve me out or wait until I'm ash, whichever comes first. Don't look so tense, I'm not going to bite you, if that's what you're worried about. I haven't been here that long, but there's no telling when they'll come back and let you out, if they ever plan to. Mages, you know, they're off in their own world. I would settle in if I were you, Hunter. It's going to be a long night. 